The IV stands for the Integrated Vulnerability and Adaptation Assessment. Uh, it is a key instrument to identify and prepare a nation and its people uh, to the risk that have been posed by uh, climate change. The purpose of the IV is to collect the vulnerability and adaptation information uh, from communities to understand their key vulnerabilities and decide what uh, actions should be taken. Global warming and the changes around the world of uh, the weather pattern and everywhere and then we feel some say that we, we will be sinking into not so distant future. It has a, a great impact on us, especially on our daily activities where we usually use the beaches for our you know, uh, activities where we go swimming, fishing. In this place where I'm staying, uh, during um, tidal uh, high taking tide, uh, these places can be flooded with uh, salt water. So, for planting uh, vegetables, it's very hard, and uh, so we are using other method of uh, racing, like uh, using um, empty buckets or uh, things like this, so that we can. Uh, grow our vegetables to support our family, especially with vitamins. In the community, before we start off with the assessment, we uh, start um, having an ethical briefing uh, to brief the community on uh, the importance of the assessment, what will be conducted during the assessment, uh, what are the main uh, aims and objectives uh, for the assessment. The target audience for the assessment, uh, we've categorized it into three groups, where we have the men's, the women's and the youth groups. Um, this is a totally different approach uh, for the past uh, IV assessments that have been conducted. Uh, through the assessment, we will be walking through the um, seven uh, human security objectives, which uh, includes the ecosystem health, water security, uh, security of place, energy security, income security, community health and food security. So in conducting the assessment, uh, we aim to capture all views from all aspects uh, in the community that can be uh, linked uh, through uh, climate change. Uh, through the issues that have been highlighted, we then uh, tend to prioritize on what are the two most uh, vulnerable issues. Through the vulnerable issues, then we uh, come up with a qualitative response uh, with regards to uh, the two most vulnerable issues in the community. The Tuvalu Climate Change Unit will be responsible for uh, uh, all the data that has been uh, generated from the outer islands. Um, once the data is collected, uh, then uh, the climate change can uh, disseminate the information to the respective uh, stakeholders. Eh? This uh, could include the NGOs, uh, the government departments, and also the communities. Yeah, so basically it will be uh, it will benefit the members of the community as well as the nation of Tuvalu in terms of um, uh, getting more funding for adaptation options uh, here in the country.